Hey, everybody. Click the annotation and go solve the puzzle before I do. From the five seconds I peeked at it before I uh, get going here, just to set up this this whole recording, it looked pretty tough. I actually didn't see the answer. So um, let's uh, jump right in. If you haven't clicked on the annotation, can't blame me if you don't learn as much as the others. Okay. Um, the theme is called Up and Over, which seems strange. My first... Uh, my first candidate move is bishop e4, but then he can play queen to d7, knight to c5. There's no fork. Bishop guards at rook d1. There's definitely nothing there. He can take e4. Um, rook to e4 would look to be a, cons a candidate move to bring the rook over to the fourth rank and attack the king. In fact, rook e4 probably also threatens rook g4 and rook h4. Um, given the theme is called up and over, you would think that that... That might be along the lines of what we like, but I, I get the feeling I should keep looking. Echinacea T. You haven't you haven't seen me haven't seen me with this kind of beard, this kind of facial hair since my role as frightened inmate number two. Am I right? You didn't know it was me as the frightened inmate number two? Hmm. Learn something new every day. Alright, um Rook e4 is probably the move I would play in the game. If rook e4, if f5, I have queen g5 check, king h8, queen f6 check, uh, king to g8, and there's a number of things there, including after queen g5, king h8. Um, I can even just slide the rook over immediately. So rook e4, as, as passive as it seems, as slow as it seems, is the move I'm going to go with is the correct answer here. Look at that. First incorrectly solved daily puzzle of the video series. Okay, so I missed it. Um, the move I didn't really consider, but now is jumping out at me, is actually Rook E5. And I probably should have taken a few more seconds to consider it. It is a more forcing version of the same idea, this Rook Lift, a la Larry Christensen, right? Hashtag storming the barricades, go get that book by Larry, Larry C. Um, Rook E5 looks strong. The problem I had was that if F takes E5, Queen G5 check, King h8, queen f6 check, king to g8. I didn't see a concrete follow-up, mainly because I can't move the knight from f3 because there's mate on g2. That was like, I looked at that quickly in my head. <clears throat> Should have looked further because I, I dismissed an idea of rook e5 takes, queen g5 check, king h8, queen f6, king g8. And I dismissed both bishop takes h7, king takes h7, and then knight g5 check because after king g8, there's no mate. And... Um, and knight g5 right away that he can mate on, on g2 instead of taking h7 with check. Ah, uh, I see what I missed now. Duh, and it's a very typical mating pattern. This has got to be the move. After, oh wow, he doesn't take it. If he had taken e5, the move would have been queen g5 check, king h8, and then queen h6, which is a double attack of mate on f8 and the pawn on h7, which, you know, is actually a very typical sort of mating net. Um, Okay, but now I would guess that the move must just be rook h5. I mean, now this is just clearly attacking h7 and threatening queen h6. Yeah, okay. So no wonder the theme was called up and over. I would say that's a daily puzzle that Mr. Larry Christensen would be proud of, if I don't say so myself. Um, this is tough, actually. It's, it's frustrating that I missed this one. I haven't missed one yet, right? So maybe I was distracted by bragging about my role as frightened inmate number two. But what did we learn from this? Because um, clearly I was on the right track considering the rook lift. And you should follow through with the moves that you feel you would play in a real game. I know that a lot of the daily puzzles we've done so far are talking to you. That's right. Hey, pay attention. I'm talking to you. The Most of the videos we've done so far seem like pretty easy checkmates. Or I guess we've done a couple tough ones from the end of last week. But for the most part, it, it's I, I'm doing my best to apply teaching concepts that you can have as takeaways from the videos but overall you can see that a lot of them that I solved just really bam bam really quickly are obviously I'm doing that because of my own pattern recognition my own experience my own awareness of all of these common different mating nets so I'm able to solve it very quickly so I can give you all the critical thinking advice I, I want and talk to you about considering checks and then captures and hanging pieces and all that stuff is valuable um, and it is how you should be building your thinking process before you consider candidate moves really you should be going from that but Really, I'm solving those based on pure pattern recognition, especially when it's a mating that I'm aware of. This is clearly a little bit of a different position, right? It's a little more complicated. Um, it's it's not a pattern you would see every day, a little bit of a strange position with the queen in the center and the bishops, but 
you know, the, the move I would consider in a real game is definitely Rook E4, because I would see that both F5 and any other move can be met by either Rook G4 check and Queen H6 or Rook H4. And to be honest with you, I don't think Rook E4 is a bad move. Um, maybe he can give up the Queen for the Rook and Bishop, but he's still going to be losing there. Um, so I don't think Rook E4 is a bad move. Uh, and it's if it is the move I played like in a bullet game, about to go play a bullet brawl right now, by the way. So if you're watching this, you, you might even go to Twitch TV slash chess and, and see me doing a bullet brawl right now. Um, I would probably play Rookie 4 in a bullet game, honestly. So unless I saw Rookie 5 in advance and uh, was aware that deflecting this pawn away from the protection of G5 was going to open up this mating net of uh, Queen to G5, again, if takes, Queen G5 check, King H8, Queen H6, I probably wouldn't have been looking for that idea right away. So just to be totally honest, that's why I missed it, because the pattern and what I was focused on was that there's a weak king. Start with what's weak about your position and your opponents. Consider checks, captures, and tempo moves. Obviously, there were no real checks or captures we could speak of, and you could argue that Rookie 5 was a tempo move, but clearly not the most obvious one, right? So after not seeing any great checks, captures, or tempo moves, I went with a move that, to me, clearly improved White's attacking chances, and in a real game, it is probably what I would have played, but I'm not arguing with the puzzle. I do believe Rookie 5 is clearly the best, because anytime you can establish a goal in the most forcing manner, it's it, you should always do so. And, and that's advice you can actually take to your games, because... Often people will, will actually see what's weak in their opponent's position or recognize an awkward or undefended piece, but they'll jump with the first idea they see to, to take advantage of it, like I did with Rookie 4. If you recognize something that's weak, I always say to my students, if you're a shark and you smell blood, there's a chance that there's uh, fresh food in the water, okay? If you're a shark and you smell blood, give yourself the time. Have some patience to consider more than just the, the first obvious move, and Rookie 5 is definitely a tricky one, and so... Um, Hats off to the Daily Puzzle, the first Daily Puzzle that I have missed since we started this whole uh, Daily Puzzle genre here on YouTube. I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm a little, uh, little upset at you guys. I, I expect more people to be liking these videos. We don't seem to have many views, and maybe it's just too short or people feel the puzzles are too easy. But I would bet that a lot of you either took a lot more time than I did to find Rookie 5 or maybe missed Rookie 5, or many people just cheat and press the solution and then pretend that they solved it, right? Hopefully you're not one of those. Guilty. Guilty. No, I'm kidding. Not this guy. Anyway, frightened inmate number two. Am I right? Go on. You know what I'm talking about. Hashtag arrested development. I should probably be in a worse mood because I got the puzzle wrong, but I'm not. I learned something, and I actually like that I, I recognized that I was jumping with this first idea. I should have considered the forcing moves once I was confident that the right idea was to take advantage of the Black King. So that's on me. That's my mistake. I hope that all of you have a great day, and hopefully you're going to hop over to twitch.tv slash chess and watch me do the Bull Brawl. If you were watching this sometime around 2 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, February 11th, I'm probably over the 2 p.m. Pacific. So, all right, everybody. Have fun.